All right, guys, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Three Pound Fishing. We're gonna be fishing the evening today. It's a nice overcast day. It doesn't get much better than this, to be quite honest with you. We got storms rolling in tomorrow, so they always say, you know, before a storm, this is the time they should be hitting. So we're gonna go out there, catch a few. We're kind of warming up for the guide trips that are going to be occurring this weekend. So uh, should be good. Low wind, you gotta love these fall days. We got all the colors. But the storms are coming, the temperature change, change is coming, so it's good to get out here in the evening before all that occurs. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Oh, one last thing. I want to tell you guys something. We've got the new hair jigs in. Bunch of new hair jigs in. Check this out. You can buy, buy them in actually one, three, five quantities. Inexpensive, perfect way to get a feel for what hair jigs working best for you and your leg. So let's do that. Darn near the first drop of the day. And that is a solid eater right there, guys. So yeah, so what I was, um, you know, I'm trying to kind of focus a lot more energy now on the hair jigs that three pound fishing supplies. So that would be the all white hair jig right there. And I'm continuing to add to that lineup. So now currently there's about eight different hair jigs that you can buy as singles. And these new ones that we just got, our hammer tin is awesome, by the way. They're available now in these three packs, three, five, or even just one. So it's as cheap as $2 for one, just to try them out. So check them out, I love them. Fall time is a fantastic time for hair jigs and you don't have to worry about putting plastics repositioning them on your jigs. Just, it's, it's a freedom that I just totally appreciate during the fall. Now the other beautiful thing, you can see those piles right there, man. Great fish right there is you can literally do any type of technique during the fall. Now I don't know how, if these fish are finicky yet or what's the story, but look at this guy coming up. Come on, baby. Ooh, and he did hit it. Gosh dang it, guys. He's a little one, but man, that was fun. And that was quick, easy easy fishing right there we like that that's a small guy though so i prefer to swim most of my baits rather than vertical drop but obviously um hair jigs truly are meant to be vertical dropped although i do swim them quite a bit um, these are 132nd ounce jigs by the way sniping braid i love the sensitivity it truly means everything here come here he comes and you can play them. Are you gonna touch it? Are you gonna touch it? Nope. Look at that group of fish right there. You gotta love it. This group of fish right here is where I'm focusing my energy, although there are some sprinkled along the, the tree that's dropped down there. So what I'll do is I'll run that sucker across before try to try to take advantage of that before i even get to my main spot and sometimes i'll bump it bump it trig somebody i could have went with that guy but i'm gonna drop into this honey hole right here it looks like that's where a majority of them are at here he comes and there we go we didn't get to see it technically on the live scope but i knew he was coming behind and there is another Slabalicious. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. White hair jig, guys. I'm telling you. Any of them. The carrot's been crushing it. 8600 series monitor, 16 inch. If you guys are new to three pound fishing, you guys can check a lot of these electronics out at PTG. They are my source for any of this stuff. Um, but this is definitely a 16 inch screen and people can appreciate it, especially on the guide trips when you get to see that. See how I'm playing this guy? He's gonna hit it. Oh, he did hit it. Oh, 
So there you go. I always, you know, typically will fish with 35 forward and 25 down, unless I get into some really deep stuff. Uh, obviously, the, it also, if I get into some shallow stuff, I'm gonna shallow it up. When I'm at Grenada, I'm totally fishing in a 15, whatever accommodates the water, but rarely do I ever use the entire screen. And the reason why is I'm just used to seeing fish at a certain size. And when you start using the entire screen, fish start looking like beach balls. And that's just, it's just weird. So it doesn't, it's, it's hard to understand their movements for me anyway, so. Another good little lay down here with some fish on it. They tend to be pretty active right off the bat, you know, so first cast tend to have the most action and the craziest fish. Didn't have a good throw there, so I will do it again. I don't mess around with bad throws, guys. I just don't. And that's gonna be right on top of it. There I am coming in right there. Oh, he lifted that right off of the branch. There we go. Super important to have. I'll tell you guys a story real quick. I'll tell you a story. I had a guy in the boat, and um, he was really enjoying the Hammer 10. But at the same time, he is just used to having an eight footer. And I have a new prototype in the boat right now that's an, it's an eight footer. And so I got to let him use it because I say, hey man, if you're used to an eight footer, go for it. Now, granted, you gotta listen, he, he caught fish all morning with the 10 footer. He puts the eight footer in there and it's a faster tip um, rod. And um, these fish here on my home lake are extremely finicky. They will spit it out as soon as they take it in if they don't think it's real. So you have to be quick. And the advantage of a hammer 10 is that uh, it's, it's stiffer. And it allows you, when you set the hook, you are literally setting the hook at that moment. Whereas rods with faster tips have to bow up or get, gain strength so they're not setting the hook immediately they're actually slowly setting the hook and he caught one fish for the next hour and a half finally I looked at him I said you know you were catching a lot of fish with that hammer 10 he put that hammer 10 back in his hands and sure enough he caught fish for the rest of the day and it's really it's just the quickness of the 10 footer combination with the braid all makes that hook set happen extremely fast opposed to loading up with the hook set with a faster tip rod those are my feelings now everybody's gonna have, i've seen a lot of people have a lot of success with faster tip rods but i can tell you on a black crappie lake like mine where the bite is extremely finicky it's important to set the hook very quickly Oh, baby. See how I'm playing that fish, man? Boom. Mm. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna end it, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'm excited about this new year coming up. This fall fishing is fantastic, and I want let me just start off with this. I want to thank all the guide trips that are going on right now because I am absolutely loaded down. Still have some availability in November, especially in December, but the uh, the amount of guide trips I've got going compared to I think a lot of people has been fantastic. We uh, are really doing a lot of fishing, putting a lot of fish in the boat. So if you're interested, give me a call at 618-694-5162. But it's been spectacular fishing, great people. Um, I'm trying to share some of those episodes that we are actually out on a guide trip and you get to appreciate what goes on and how much fun we have. And most importantly, we put a bunch of fish in the boat with top-notch equipment. So. Thanks, I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe and share the video. 